very, very outraged. I mean, these people, they just will give you high blood pressure and they'll just kill you. Look, uh, I'm outraged about our blacklisting by CAF. Mm -hmm. So I decided to do some digging, some more parliamentary oversight. And what I have discovered is so shocking. Look, many people had thought, and I was also in that school of thought, that we have been blacklisted. We now have to go and play our matches in Togo or Ivory Coast. As for Nigeria, we don't want to go because we fear that uh, uh, big brothers and sisters will tease us so much that we can't even play on the pitch. Mm -hmm. I also thought that, oh, it's just negligence. It's just incompetence. And that we didn't even lose money in the process. It's just that our officials, the government, mm -hmm. the Minister for Youth and Sports, the NSA officials forgot to do their work and to invest in renovations and stadium rehabilitation. To the shock of my life, I've discovered that no, that's not, it's, it's, it's worse than that. Actually, copious, colossal, staggering amounts of money has been pumped every year into stadium renovation. So far, the documents I have intercepted, over 85 million cities. I'll read them to you and I'll leave copies with you. 14 July 2023. This is a letter signed by Honorable Dr. John A. Kuma. God bless his soul. May his soul continue to rest in peace. He issued a warrant for the release of 41.9 million Ghana cities for the rehabilitation of the Esipon Sports Stadium. Esipon, 41.9 million. Only last year. Talk to your sports journalists. I have been there. 41.9 million, no show. At least AC Pong should have saved us today. I mean, such a monumental international disgrace. Then let me come to the other document I've intercepted. Baba Yara Sports Stadium, mm -hmm. where we had the, 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 the total embarrassment. Baba Yara, are you aware that Another contract of 21.1 million, and this is a letter signed by Frank Quist, chief director, awarded to a company called Javkier. 21.1 million. When was this? 27th of March, 2020. And I've tracked the payments. I've all the payment vouchers here. They've all been paid promptly. Then you come to Accra Sports Stadium. I have here a company called Coup Bay, another mm. intercepted document. They have paid them 22.4 million. Wow. You know, over 85 million. And you know what, what, what I went for the incorporation documents of these, these, these companies. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Right. Two of the companies are okay. owned by their president's relatives, Kelvin Oforiata. <laughs> I mean, wow. could be, and, uh, and, and the other one, Sisden. So if, if, if you, your family will make money out of our stadiums, at least do the work. At least don't bring this monumental international disgrace upon us. Wow. <laughs> this, this, and this, Look, this, this president must be impeached. Me. President Kufado must you, be impeached. You, and I hope that colleagues in parliament, including MPP MPs, will join. Look, we've never had such a horrible president. Yes, he must like three be months impeached. To I mean, you say you're leaving these copies with me. Yes, I'll leave copies and, with uh, you. Because it's a matter that will sink our teeth in. Over 85 very, very million Ghana cities. We need to get should, into we, we, we've spent all of this money, well. and, yet, uh, right. and yet we've earned a ban. It's a worrying development in there. But thank you for, for this. And can you leave that with me? It's so live here on, on Key Point, also on 3FM 92.7. Uh, thank you very much, Samuel Okuja to Ablakwa. Uh, thank you. This is a member of parliament for the North Tongue constituency.